Okay, let's look at number six. Let's calculate the molar solubility of barium fluoride in each liquid or solution. So we have barium, BAF2, barium fluoride. And I want to calculate it in pure water. Um, B is 0 0.10 molar of barium nitrate. And C is 0 0.15 NAF. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at the solution here and it's an incomplete solution because I don't really know, um, I don't really see any numbers here. So this is gonna be an incomplete solution. Again, I don't know what the molar solubility here is as well. So uh, that's no good. So let me just look at the question here, see if they give us an, any additional information. And they do not. So this one here, um, so this here is again an incomplete solution because I don't have um, anything here. Um, so uh, we're, we're actually going to have to just solve this problem by ourselves here. Um, so let's calculate the molar solubility of barium fluoride in each liquid or solution. So we're given pure water first and then we're given um, these two guys here. So in order for me to calculate this, I'm not given any um, uh, concentrations here. Right? So um, for pure water here. So I'm not given anything for pure water, um, but I'm given some concentrations for these guys here. I have 0 0.10 molars of barium, barium nitrate and 0 0.15 molar of sodium fluoride. So in pure water, for A here, um, I would actually just have to look up the molar solubility for, uh, for barium fluoride in pure water. Um, because I'm not given some specific concentration here. So let me look that up for you. Molar solubility, this is barium fluoride. So let's see, um, in this case here, I would need to know the KSP of our, uh, of our solution here. Um, so let's, so give me a second here. We need to know the uh, KSP of barium fluoride for us to solve for this problem. So that's gonna be, let's look at barium, barium fluoride is, 1.0 times 10 to the negative six here. So that's gonna be our molar solubility for that. Um, let's look at our solution then. So let's see here. 1.0 times 10 to the negative six. And let's see here. Yeah, so what we have here is um, we need to know our KSP. Our KSP is equal to, uh, according to um, this soluble, uh, according to this KSP um, table here, Barium, barium fluoride has a KSP of 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven. But this one says 1.0 times 10 to the negative six. So let me just find you a good number here. Yeah, it's one. So two of them have, we'll say 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven. So I will go with that. One point eight four times 10 to the negative seven. So if we know our KSP here and we know it's in pure water, what we can do is we can simply just create an ice table, right? So we have our um, chemical equation here. BAF2 is going to dissociate into BA2 plus plus 2F minus, right? 
And then what we can do is we can write our ice table for us to solve for that. So again, we're not given our initial concentration, so we don't know that, but we know we start with zero and zero for this. So we're at, we're making some type of concentration here. And what we can do is we can calculate the molar solubility because we're given our KSP value, right? So KSP, we can say is equal to the, co the concentration of our reactants, which is BA2 plus times F minus to the power of two. And the reason why is this is to the power of two because we have the coefficient of two here, right? So we're gonna have, um, oh sorry, this is uh, this is plus two x for the for the coefficient of two here. That's my fault. This is two x and this is two x here. So this is gonna be x times two x squared, which will give us four x cubed, and this will equal our KSP value of one point eight four times ten to the negative seven, right? So we can say that four x cubed equals one point eight four times ten to the negative seven. And what we can do is divide both sides by four, right? So we have 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven divided by four, which will give us x cubed is gonna give us 4.6 times 10 to the negative eight. And then therefore x would equal to uh, 3.58 times 10 to the negative three. And this will be our solution for the pure water, um, pure water solution. Uh, for the molar solubility of barium fluoride. And it really depends on this KSP value because I don't know this KSP value. Um, it's very, very hard for us to solve for this problem. So it, th I don't know if this 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven is good or not. So I'm not sure about that, but we can do the other problems as well. We can do 0 0.10 and 0 0.15 very, very easily um, because we can write, write them out as um, as a, uh, as our uh, as a chemical reaction and simply do a nice table again. So let me say that the solution is missing information. Part A, I would have if KSP of BAF2 is 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven, then molar solubility is solve this as 3.58 times 10 to the negative three molars. And then for B, I would have to solve for B here. So let me just clear this up. Let's solve this for B. And B here says, so this is still question 6B, 0 0.10 molar of BANO3, two here. So what we can do here is we can, um, uh, let's see, we can do a, we can basically relate um, barium nitrate and the moles of barium nitrate with um, the moles of barium fluoride, right? So if we have BANO32 and this dissociates into, again, BA2 plus plus this would be NO3 minus, I'm gonna have 0 0.10 molar of this guy here, but I also, I'm gonna have um, BA2 plus, which is also 0 0.10 molar and then I have uh, uh, this uh, nitrate group, which is gonna be 0 0.20 molar actually because of that coefficient of two, right? But I really care about BA2 plus because this is going to be related to my barium fluoride, right? Because I wrote this as BA2 plus plus uh, F minus, two F minus here. And again, because I have 0 0.10 here, I can actually solve, uh, I can use my ice table now, right? So if I have a concentration here, I don't, again, I don't know these guys here, but I know now BA2 plus is 0 0.10, right? And this one here is, I know as zero. I'm gonna get minus X or plus X, sorry. This is also still, this is still two X here. So I have 0 0.10 plus X and two X here. And now if I've given my KSP value of barium fluoride, which I thought was, I assumed was 1.84 times 10 to the negative seven, I can solve for this problem again, right? So KSP is going to equal BA2 plus plus F minus to the power of two, right? And this here, now I have 0 0.10 plus X. This one would be two X squared, which means that this here is going to be, I have four X squared multiplied by 0 0.10 plus X. And this here would be, um, 0 
x squared plus 4x cubed would equal um, my um, my KSP value of 1.84 times 10 to the second 10 to 7. And all I'm going to do is simply isolate for my x value here to solve for this problem. Um, and what we can do here is we can actually just factor, right? We can factor out this, uh, we can factor an x squared here. So 0 0.40 plus 4x. Or actually, I would actually have to move this to the other side and do a, um, uh, and do a kind of a cubic kind of relationship. Um, if I want to avoid this uh, kind of uh, uh, problem here, I can actually use the assumption method and say that this here is very, very small. So I can just simply uh, uh, cancel that out. So that might be a bit easier for us to solve for this problem. So I'm going to have simply just 4x squared times 0 0.10, which is 0.40x squared. Um, I can divide both sides by 0 0.40 to get that alone here. So I have 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 0 0.40. So it gave me 4.6 times 10 to the negative 7. And I can simply square root that number to give us our molar solubility, which is going to be 6.78 times 10 to the 4 molars here. And this is going to be our solution for B. So I'm going to say, I'm assuming that this KSP value is correct here. It's all based off this assumption. And more solubility is 6.78 times 10 to the negative 4. And then let me do 6C here and I'll clear this. And it's very, very similar to B and what we've been doing before. So I have 0 0.15 molars of NaF. So I, if I look at NaF here, I can write a chemical equation and say that I have Na plus plus F minus here. And we have 0 0.15 molarity of our, um, of our, uh, of, of um, sodium fluoride, sorry. So I have 0 0.15, which means these guys are also 0 0.15 here. So what I can do now as I'm focused on this guy here, right? Because I need to relate it to my barium fluoride. So again, this is BF2, B2 plus plus 2F minus. And if 1F minus is 0 0.15 here, what I can say here is I can say that 0 0.15 also exists um, uh, in this solution as well. So this here is 0 0.15, right? And this here would be 0, and I don't know, I don't know these guys here. Again, I'm doing my ice table. So I can draw my ice table. I have z I'm starting with zero, uh, zero barium, and I'm, but I'm starting with 0 0.15 fluorine from the sodium fluoride here, right? So again, I'm adding x here. This would be 0 0.5 plus 2x. So that leaves me that leaves me with x and 0 0.15 and 2x here. Again, I can write my KSP, um, KSP uh, values. So I have 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 is going to equal the concentration of barium 2 plus plus the concentration of fluorine minus to the power of two. It's gonna equal X times 0 0.15 plus two X. And this would be squared. And then what I can do here now is I can, if I wanted to, I can um, factor this out and well, I can foil to, uh, get, to uh, get an algebraic solution here. Uh, but what, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to assume, again, the small x approximation. So this 2x is going to be, um, I'm going to assume that this is going to be very, very small. So x here is going to be simply just 0 0.51 squared, and I'll be able to solve for this value here. So I can divide both sides by, by 0 0.15 squared to get my x value. So I have 1.84 times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 0 0.15 squared here and this would give me a value of 8.17 times 10 to the negative 6 and this is our molar solubility for part c so it all depends on our molar solubility or on our sorry ksp um i'm i'm hope i'm hoping that this ksp is our correct um the correct one because we're again we're not given our um our molar solid, sorry, our KSP value for this problem here. So I'm basing my information off 
uh, this KSP value here. So the solution here is incorrect because it's an incomplete solution. Thank <phone> you. <rings>